Good evening everybody, it's Jared here at Big Pine Sports. I am excited to take this baby out in the mountains today. It is cold here in Utah. It has been raining and snowing all day. You'll be able to see the snow line up on the mountain and we're gonna get up and see what this baby's all about. What am I excited about this uh, phenomenal side-by-side -side from Can-Am? Obviously the full cab kit with heat, air conditioning. My question though is even though those things are cool, the power windows are cool, all of those things are awesome, but how does it actually handle when you get it off the pavement out in the dirt? We're hoping this thing does what we want it to do out in the mountains because if it does, the hunters, the farmers, the recreationalists, everybody's gonna want one of these things for that year-round riding. So, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna go do some testing. It's gonna rain on us, it's gonna snow on us, and we're gonna flip mud everywhere. And that's okay, because it's not gonna touch us on the inside. Very cool looking machine. Comes with the winch. Great headlight system. It's actually starting to snow. Very light snow falling. Nice big bed space. Inside, got that new car smell. Power windows. I've got the heat kicked on and it is hot inside. So we're gonna take it out. We're gonna get out and play with it a little bit. We're gonna report to you and let you know how it goes. and 
and what you'll find in this section and what we like to see is how noisy the suspension is and what it sounds like inside the cab. These boulders are pretty good size. You can see that we're starting to gain elevation here. Inside the cab is really quite quiet. Shy of the baby. But normally you're not gonna be out in this terrain with your seven month old baby in a normal side by side without a full cab kit on it. The heat puts out the heat. We've turned it down to low. We're currently at 73 degrees inside the cab. It's very pleasant in here right now. As we continue to get steeper and steeper, I have put it down into low range. See how the low range crawling action is. We're currently doing about three miles an hour. It's very slick. The clay out there makes it really slick, but obviously we're getting good traction with the rocks. Running about 3,100 RPM. everybody we have made it to the famous rock where we always stop I love this spot it just kind of is at that halfway point where you know what the vehicle is gonna be like you kind of know what the suspensions like and let's talk about the suspension totally impressed with the slow speed uh, rocky terrain these rocks are not little pebbles by any stretch uh, we've tapped the skid plate a couple times that's what we're all about, is trying to figure out where the limits are, the size of rock we can go over, how well the suspension works, and it has been a slick mess up here. But we've been able to navigate uh, properly, the power steering works phenomenally, uh, but the suspension is probably on the top of my list so far. I didn't expect the suspension to be as good as it is in this slow speed stuff. Um, can't get enough of how quiet it is inside the cab the machines obviously running right now and to be outside the vehicle it's not bad at all uh, definitely nice in the heat uh, we set the temperature at 73 degrees 75 kind of wanted to cook us out 80 is where we started and it was like whoo way too hot in here we're starting to gain some elevation and get up into the snow line as you can see we're up here in the beautiful mountains of Utah. And what to, what I want to point out here also is note that there's not a lot of mud flinging up on side the vehicle. The protection of the mud flinging is really good. Granted, we're not doing high speed stuff. It's all slow speed crawling at this point. But it's not flinging up everywhere. We've not adjusted the shocks, we've not touched the shocks or anything like that. You gotta love the arched A-arms. Underbelly skid, looking nice as far as the protection goes underneath there. Super happy with that. The tires are doing a great job. They are a little bit noisy on the asphalt. But overall, you know, definitely a, a very plush, enjoyable ride especially out in these temperatures we're going to be thrilled to get out in the hot july days uh, crank on that ac as we get out and explore moab sand hollow 
we're definitely going to get down to these places and see what this machine can do so this machine is actually already sold and we've got plans for this machine fortunately the customer was able to uh, agree to let us go out and actually shoot some video with it get some first-hand experience with it but we're not going to stop there we're going to put a lift and a taller tire on this machine get it up off the ground even further and we're going to get uh get out and experience some moab experience some sand hollow get out in the rugged rugged mountains of utah and i'll tell you what what better ride to do it this time of year than in this machine it's beginning to snow Super impressed. What would you guys like to know about the machine? We're gonna find out while we've got this baby in our hands. More info to come. steep incline got some pretty good sized boulders and rocks currently doing about one or two miles an hour I have no feet on the brakes hovering around 1800 rpm or so once you hit about two miles an hour you're up to two grand and it's just motoring right along Very nice and quiet, still in the cab. Shocks are doing their job really well. What else would you guys like to see? We're in the Can-Am Defender Limited, three-seater, also available in a six-seater. More product videos to come. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We monitor our channel daily. We'd love to hear what you want to know about the Can-Am Defender Limited. As soon as you put it in high range, uh, the pulled back is not near as good. It wants to start getting away from you. The low range hold back is great. High range you make the call okay as we head down we're definitely testing the downhill engine braking we've been in low range and it's been hovering right around one to two miles an hour with no foot on the gas or the brake it's holding back really well we've not done anything in high range yet as far as the downhill engine braking in high but typically you're mostly worried about it when you're in low range coming down steep terrain it's been great as we've been able to be out here and experience this trail. It's been muddy, it's been slick, it's been rocky, it's been rainy, we got snowed on. And so far, I'm liking it. Uh, may have to add one of these to my own stable. So this machine is going to a guy named Kevin. Kevin has owned about anything with a motor you can imagine. He's had many different brands of side-by-sides. Uh, he currently went from a Razor to a KRX, and now he's buying this Defender. We're going to get some information from him as he gets out and uses this thing to hunt in, uh, go to his property up on the mountain. We're going to get that customer experience, and we're going to get it from Kevin. Kevin, it's going to happen this time, buddy. Okay, we made it back. What did we like? What didn't we like? Let's recap right now. 
All right. Let's start off with what we didn't like about the machine. This one's gonna be tough. We didn't get enough time in it. We're gonna continue to bring you some fresh content about the machine. But in our trip up Dry Creek, what I didn't like, which how nitpicky can you get, it would be nice when you're rolling the windows up and down to actually just push on the button and it goes all the way down instead of holding your finger on the switch. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna get a bunch of flack for that, I know. Took a minute to get the heat in the cab figured out as far as where to get the temperature. Again, very nitpicky. It did take a second to figure out that 73 degrees was perfect for where we were at. Once we got over to 75, it just started getting too hot inside the cab. But regulating that will be easy enough with a little bit more use of understanding the knobs and the controls. Once we figured out how to set it at an auto temperature, it stayed regulated very, very well. The high range downhill engine braking pretty much didn't exist. It was got a little carried away for the terrain that we were in. Granted, it was pretty quite steep. Again, you're not too worried about the downhill engine braking in high range typically. So what did we love? Absolutely loved how quiet it was inside the cab. We loved being able to be out in the cold temperatures and have some heat. We loved how well the suspension worked. Impressed with the ground clearance. Surprised how little of mud is down the side of the machine. When those tires were clearing out, I expected the mud to be all up and down the machine. I don't know if this is by design or what, but that door catches it really, really well. No mud up on the windows on either side or up on the windshield or on the back window. It crawled really well. I guess another downside for me at least for the noise function on the asphalt the noise that we were getting was from the tire definitely something that a lot of people are going to swap out for sure but at the end of the day it really helped me understand why you would pick a side-by-side -side like this you know, we definitely get uh, spoiled in this day and age. Check out that sunset. We get spoiled in this day and age, but I'll tell you what, the uses for this machine are gonna be amazing. For the hunter, for the farmer, for the family, for those that wanna get out in the heat of the desert, um, for those that need to stay out of the dust. And yes, side-by-sides are meant to get out and get dirty and get dusty, but there are people for health reasons need to stay out of the dust and this is going to be one of those machines they're going to be able to accomplish that with. Overall, extremely pleased with the machine and as we continue to get out and punish this beast, we'll have more content to follow. After this one trip, I've decided that I'm going to make one of these mine so we can get out do some mods to it and really get out and abuse it. Again, huge thank you to Kevin for allowing us to get out and use this machine to shoot some content for you guys on our YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. We'd love any comment, both positive and negative. We want all the feedback we can get to make our channel better. And as always, have a great night, everybody.